Okay, this is called the mic method. Everyone knows this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today we're gonna to be talking about diving in Animal Crossing. Now, you guys already know there's a new update, you guys can go dive in the water. We're gonna tell you guys about the basics, we're also gonna show you guys everything, every single fish, every single thing we caught in the water, and we'll show you guys a quick guide and the best ways to actually catch them, and probably the most optimal way to time travel so you guys can finish in a day. This stream, we actually did a live stream. I'm gonna thank my IcePod team, everyone here, they're Amazing people. We had such a good run. We had about 200 plus people watching the stream. We learned a lot So you guys will not make the same mistakes we did because uh, it probably will only take you four hours But it took us seven hours. So, you know, let's get this started So when you start diving, if you don't know, you go nook, you buy a swimsuit and you jump in the water um, The controls are A is to swim. So you go near water, you swim in there A allows you to go faster and then A when you hold it, you kind of drift and float there we Call it the mic strategy, which I'll explain later um, and the third one is you press Y to dive in the water. This is pretty obvious. If you guys see bubbles coming out of the water, you just press Y, dive in, move towards it, and you touch it, and you bring it back up, you caught it. You can only stay in the water for five pushes. Five times, that's it, you go back up. So be careful when you do that, because some fishes run really fast. While you're going to try to catch every single thing, there's a very easy way to identify what you're going to get. If it's a plant, the bubbles go straight up. If it's an animal, the bubbles crisscross a bit. Plus, um, the water does get fogged up if it is a fish, and the faster it moves, the rarer the fish is. So that's pretty easy clear. We're gonna show you guys every single fish you can catch. Uh, we have all the data. We actually had to do work all night to get it all for you guys. We had the trial and error, and we got it all. The strongest recommendation is when you go fishing, do it at 9 p.m. Everything spawns at 9 p.m. That's how the game works for some reason. If you guys are time traveling or playing normally, you only have to do three months, uh, three days basically to time travel to get all the deep diving stuff. July is the optimal month to get everything you need possible. I think over 50% of the things you can get is July. Giant clam, isopod, vampire, uh, squid. Those ones are the rarest ones we've found so far. Um, this is the rarest one we had experience with. Isopod, for example, took me one and a half hours. We actually had to do a team chant about the ice team isopod, which respect oh my, my team. But if you do see a uh, giant clam or isopod, the good news is the fishes don't run away, so you can catch up to them. What you do is you do the mic strategy by Mike, who was in the chat. You see a fish, hold A, and then you move your joystick. And then you move towards the fish, and you go the same direction. When the fish is around you, you're above them, that's when you can dive on them, but you want them to kind of slow down. That's how you get most fishes, but they're really fast. You just drift on top of them, and you think it's the right moment when you kind of push them towards a the corner. Um, you press uh, Y to dive down, and then you hope you go to the right direction where the fish is. And if you do, you caught the fish. It does take trial and error, but uh, once you get used to it, it's very simple. Um, it took us two hours to get used to it, and it's to a point where we're just like, okay, don't run after the fish because that scares them. You just have to float with them, and then bam, you got them. Um, you can skip all the way to November. November's where you get more of the bigger crustaceans. It's trial and error. Um, you can get them. It's not too bad. I think the hardest one we got was spiny lobster, and a lot less likely it'll be spawning. The final day you have to skip over to is actually April. You can get the firefly. You can get the lobster and you can get the uh, spider crab. So those three are the hardest ones to get, uh, we experienced, but you get those three and you're basically done the whole game. Once you collect everything, here's the museum what it looks like. Flathers really doesn't care. Um, other than that, here's a quick gallery of every single fish you can catch so you guys can know what it looks like and the statistics of how they behave and what times. All right, uh, we got a uh, sea anomaly. Okay, and they do move a little bit, so... Uh, what was this? I got octopus. Uh, uh, jellyfish, that's pretty easy. Or spine, we had to keep continuously press pressing A. A tiger frog, okay, that's new. That's a large. Oh, there's our homeboy. Oh, sea urchin, okay. Oh, 
whoa. Oh, snap! Horseshoe. Ooh, Mantis Shrimp. Got that. Oh, snap! Star, Sea Star. I'm trying to get a guy that will move on. Whoa. Yeah, that's that. I'm still looking for that large one. Oh, got sea slug, yay! Oh! Pearl oyster, okay, so yeah, pearl oyster is different from pearl. Nice, so you're doing it in daytime. Oh! We got chamber. Uh, that one is worth 200, so that's worthless. But we got. Pig, what is that? Uh, guys, what's a sea pig? Oh, what? Guys, what is this? You don't watch this for a while, you little. Uh, okay, someone's lying to me. Okay. It could be fireflies, but like, again, these are just people online just assuming what it is. Is that it? Oh, Venus Flower Blast, okay. Oh, we got the Venus full Venus. That's good. Okay, we are taking that. Finally got the snow crab. Okay. Oh, guys! I got the firefly. Lord, this is for you. Yes! Oh my god! Oh. 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 Vampire.
What? That's the giant clam? That thing is tiny! I had the time of my life with the isopod team. Uh, I've never live streamed before, so this was a big moment for me where I had everyone just pushing me in the last hour and a half saying like, you can do it, you can get the isopod, and we finally got it and just, whew, like I, I cannot thank everyone enough for that live stream, so I do want to thank them a lot. And I told them we're gonna make more videos in the future, so you stick around to see them. Good luck diving. I know this is a bit quick, but I want to make sure you guys get the right tools so you guys can jump in the water and have fun at Animal Crossing. If you guys love it, let us know, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, this, hopefully the next update has more stuff. Um, I need to stop doing things in one night. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I haven't been asleep for 24 hours from this. <laughs>